Hi everyone, Sully here from Black Ops Toys coming at you today with an unboxing of this guy. And this is the first SFOD, Delta Force Operation Enduring Freedom. And this is part of Damn Toys' history line. And I love, love, love this area of figure. Um, this is the same era as like Black Hawk Down, stuff like that. Let's go ahead and dig in. First art box is great. You're gonna wanna use this as a reference, especially to set up the Molly vest. Really good art. Great pictures of the figure, especially when putting the gun together. But always use reference photos when you can. Let's go ahead and show you the inside. And Dan Toys has, in my opinion, knocked it out of the park on this. So super cool. You can kind of see you get a couple different ways to set up the figure, a couple different ways to set up the primary, but very, very, very cool. So this is two trays, just like most of their standard stuff right now. Both of these. And let's go ahead and dig into this side first. If you know who this is supposed to be based on, leave that in the comments below. Let's see how smart some of you guys are. Fantastic head sculpt. Absolutely love it. Love the uniform. Again, love that three color desert. Really nice boots. These are foot type. Metal rivets up top, cloth, very cool. Good fit, good cut on the uniform. Really nice set body armor, really, really cool. Big flag here, and that does come off if you wanna peel that off. But fantastic place to start. And then his hands are bendy. So these are bendy fingers, and that means that he's probably gonna come with gloves. So all in all, Great way to start out the set. All right, let's see what else we got. There's so much stuff here. So we get a set of jeans. This is the old, like stonewash. Leather tag. Similar to the ones that came with the like PMC07 from Hot Toys. We do get a couple things in here. We get some patches. These are the flag. And then you do get some hook and loop and that is for the helmet and then a couple bungees for the helmet as well for the night vision. All right. Helmet, super cool. Half cut Mitch. If you know the specific name for that type of helmet, leave that in the comments below. Do you have a battery box on the back? Wires tucked, which is awesome. And they have this little wire clasp here, which is sweet. When putting this stuff on figures, you know that you always have a wire here that you gotta do something with. So. Really, really nice helmet. There's a lot of parts that go with that. We'll, we'll show you those as we go. Do you get a little Petzl lamp? Just like the real thing. Elastic. Do you get a couple more accessories for the uh, helmet right off the bat? This right here is a little light. And that clips onto the helmet right there. Just fits on the rail like that. You get an NVG, GPS, standard fare, communication system, old school, super, super cool. Got your little plug-in wire right there, microphone. There's a metal beam in here that you can actually bend. But really, really nice comm set. To get some goggles, really nice goggles. Again, those work for any figure, any type of custom kit bash, whatever. You get some pouches, lots of pouches with this thing. And then you do get part of a drop leg holster. And we'll show you the rest of that here in a minute. Then you get this thing. This is an awesome, awesome little plate carrier. It's got foam pads in there. Throw some change in there and uh, you're good to go. But that is a secondary piece of kit for this figure. So again, you can dial it out a couple different ways. Now let's get into the good stuff, the goods. So, so many little parts in here, so be very careful when you're opening this, so you don't lose anything. Okay. So much going on, this will probably make anybody scared to try to put this together, but it's not too bad. 
So you get some really nice gloves. I love the Nomex fly gloved hands. So put these on any type of bendy finger hands. Very, very nice. Really way, a good way to dress up the figure. And then you do get this right here. And this is a little chest rig vest set. And you can see it's all put together correctly. You have this zip off panel right here. But very, very cool. So you can run this without the panel or with the panel. It's up to you. But this will hold like flash bind grenades, stuff, stuff like that. So super, super cool. I love the color too. It's an OD green. You get, do get lots of magazine pouches. So three of these guys. And again, you could run them on the uh, plate carrier, run them on that, it's up to you. Lots of pouches. Double pistol magazine pouch, multi-purpose or an IFAC. Do you get radio pouches, both left and right side? You do get some more grenade pouches. So plenty of kit here to outfit a couple versions of the figure. All right, let's keep moving. You get a holster and this right here, you can see the locking mechanism, just like the real thing. This just slides down in here. Has your trigger guard right there and locking mechanism. So very cool holster in black. Everybody's always looking for these. So that'd be a great part to pick up. You get a bunch of the communications gear. So let's go ahead and show you. Wire one with push to talk, wire two, antenna, radio, antenna two, radio, and then your headset. So that's all your radio stuff. Lots of cool, cool stuff. Do you get some water bottles? Great little accessory for any type of diorama. So they do say crystal geyser. So that's cool. Lots of grenades. We do get some really cool trinkets. These right here are little light sticks that are pre-packaged. This is just a solid mold, but the fact that you can dress up a figure with these things, super, super cool. So let's take a look at this thing. Do you get a really nice sling? Do you get a rigger's belt? Safety retention lanyard. Then you do get a gunfighter belt, which is super, super cool. And this seems to be leather. You can see the stitchings all throughout there. Metal buckle. Really good quality. And these will probably be snapped up really quick. So very nice belt. We did something similar with our Chris Kyle figure. All right, so lots of medical stuff. You get some shears. Tourniquet. Super detail. This right here will molly in. So. Super cool. You get lots of little grenades. And these guys can fit in these pouches right here. You know what type of grenade that is? Leave that in the comments below. We get some light sticks that are unpackaged. We do get a frag grenade. And then we do get this amazing rifle and pistol set. So let's go ahead and take a look at the pistol. Standard G pistol. Everything does move. We do get a really nice pistol light, and I want to say that their laser detail is really good on this. It just slides onto your rail right there. You do get a couple extra pistol magazines. You do get a couple strobes. That right there would go with the helmet. It's got a hook and loop on it. That should kind of tell you the era. Little strobe. And then let's go ahead and pull out the rifle and we'll set it out here. I'm gonna make some room. All right, so sling. And you do get some pouch stuffing magazines. These are metal. So you can see you got a twofer and then a single. So that keeps the weight on the vest when you put it together. You get lots of other rifle magazines. So you get three of the 30 round and you get two of the 20. Take a look at the main weapon. So this is super cool. Love that front end, love that rail.
does pull out. That does work. Spring loaded bolt. Safety does work. This is your safety, but this is your other safety. And we got lots of accessories. So you can, you can set this up to be a couple different styles, but they do give you a bipod that's spring loaded. They do give you a grip. Really nice tack light, old school. Really nice mount too. That'll mount on to any Picatinny. And then cap does, I believe the cap opens. Do you get a suppressor? Really nice PEQ. Tan and with a black front end, that's new. So super cool. You get another PEQ. You get a little EOTech. The reticle is in there, so super cool. Do you get another scope? If you know what type of scope that is, leave that in the comments below. But a couple different ways to set up the rifle. Do you get a little RMR, and that's got some sticky on the back, and that will go with this guy. We do get, it looks like, a magazine coupler. So that right there will go basically make you have two magazines side by side, but that'll go on the lower. Yeah, lots of little parts. So two different styles of rifle, lots of cool little parts and accessories to do up a couple different variations. Nice G-Shock watch. And that's about all she wrote. But all in all, if you were to get, say, two of these, you could build them out two different ways. Um, exactly the same figure. Enough gear in here for, for a good long while. So, very cool figure, definite buy, and I might do a build on this one. This is super cool. So, if you like this video and you want to see more of them, make sure that you follow, like, subscribe, and share. And stay tuned for more exciting content. Like this guy.